It's so hard. And I try to be positive mostly every day. It's really hard. people good morning good morning good morning it's your girl Shakira and Sissy and Serenity's back there sleep <laughs> my darling's not back to sleep they're really up oh Serenity up now yeah oh excuse me y'all heard him checking in for his little sister but you guys good morning good morning good morning happy Tuesday so we have been up bright and early this morning and y'all your girl's feeling good okay i did my makeup this is like the second time i did it on sunday for easter and then i did it today um my co-star red i don't know if i told you about the app co-star before but real quick it's just like um for astrology and stuff you believe in that because you know i'm capricorn i'm the goat but anyways my co-star told me to stop neglecting myself which is so true and i'm also in this personal development uh, with my coach and basically she's talking about like non-negotiables that we like make as options and a non-negotiable that i thought i had for myself was self-care but i be treating it like it's optional and baby I need to stop that okay uh, but awareness is the first level to success okay so now that I'm very aware that I've been treated like it's optional I'm being very intentional about not doing that because that is a non-negotiable I have to be okay before I can pour into anybody else including my kids family y'all anybody so yeah i did this for me today because your girl was feeling herself and tomorrow is my first official self-care day and i'm so 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 excited um i had a snippet of it on saturday shout out to ray for coming to watch the babies while your girl got a pedicure and a wax to prepare for it tomorrow because tomorrow your girl is going to the spa it is long overdue and very much needed y'all i'm driving now i was stopped when i was first talking to y'all but we are currently going to the orthodontist i know i've been talking a lot because i'm just feeling so good this morning but we are currently about to pull up to my orthodontist um as y'all know i have invisalign and i don't have to go oh shoot i passed it i always do that because it's so hard to like get in there Okay, y'all, hold on, because y'all distracted me. Hold on, hold on. I always do that. Like, why? Why, girl? I got to turn around. Well, I don't want to turn around. Okay, so we in here. Y'all, I'm back. We in here. So, yes, um, y'all know I have Invisalign, and I only have to go to the orthodontist, like, a couple times and this is my second time like from um hold on let me back in here real quick y'all all right y'all sorry about that so yeah so this is my second time so the first time when i came to get all my trays well the first time was when i did the x-rays and stuff back in december then in january i had to come to pick up all my trays and stuff and then now it's april and i'm coming to get like my first check-in i guess or checkup whatever it's called so yeah this is the first stop and then my sister is meeting me here right now so she can be with the kids while i go do this real quick 
and then uh, we're going to the children's museum um i've been wanting to take the kids here well sincere because serenity was really born when i had this on sincere list because y'all know i created him a spreadsheet before he was born of all the places we were going to take him so this has been on his spreadsheet and i've been um wanting to take him so me and my sister are doing that today it's like our little date our little outing or whatever so actually let me see where she is because it's 11 18 we said we were meeting at um 11 15 actually i could just check her location because i know she close let's see yeah she is like literally about to turn in oh she might she here she's here let me call her i'm talking about she about to turn in your girl is here so let's call her and see where she is and yeah I'm so excited I'm calling her mm, 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 mm. I'm to your car right now oh, okay I think you you in there okay yep yeah, you're right here okay all right so yes y'all she is here and I'm about to go in to get my checkup. Okay. Okay, so yes, y'all. I'm about to go in here and get my teeth checked. Y'all see them? They're looking good. I haven't really given y'all a super super update, but um, I think this is week is this week 14. Let me see. I forgot. Yeah, this is week 14. So these are the little baggies that they are in. So as you can see right there, week 14 out of 43. So I'm about to go in here and get a little check up. And it's my sister. Hey guys! Long time no see ya. What's going on, sister squad? Sincere. Hi, stinky. Girl, I don't know what this weather is and what we be dressing like because I clearly don't get outside much. I don't got my kids no jacket, no nothing. Bro, no, it just got like this. <laughs> like, it's this is just ridiculous. Just drop, girl. It's been hot all week. I'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back, and we are here going up the stairs to the orthodontist. We're here. All right, you guys, just checking in. These are teeth. They look so good. So she said I've been doing a great job, of course, and my teeth look so good. As y'all can see, if you've been here, then you know my gap has like closed a lot, but we still have some work to do. So she said basically we got to pull the back ones back some, so she's going to file it. Um, I think I told you guys what the first time, with the uh, it's like a fingernail file type of thing, but for your teeth. So she's going to file my back teeth so they can go backwards, I guess, and then like my top teeth will continue to come back. So... Um, like I won't have a, a overbite like this. Cheese. Yeah, chica. Uh, like I was saying, I have to file them just a little bit to make sure that the tray stay aligned and to bring the back, to the bottom of the back. Today. I did so good. I did better than I did on Easter. Easter, I feel like I did a different technique today. I said, like, I would say it one because your girl had not done her makeup in so long. Stomach is growling. I'm to you too. I'm so hungry. Okay, if you want to break it, I'll just raise your hand and I will stop. Sounds horrible. No, I'm sorry. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You didn't. Mm -hmm. oh. 
I'll just check it as false. Dr. McCain will be back in just a minute to do her part, okay? Okay. Well, that was quick, guys. Mm -hmm. That was it. Next part will be a little more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. She broke on her a little bit. What's up, y'all? So, we are back. Okay, so... After the orthodontist, we were trying to go eat. We were supposed to go to Houston's, but y'all, it was extremely crowded. Like, people don't work no more. It's Tuesday, and it's giving a Saturday summer day. Like, everybody was outside. So, we ended up getting Chick-fil-A, and now we are here at the Children's Museum. We're about to get ready to get out and head in. Our appointment time is for 1.30. It is currently 1.19 because your girl is on time period all right so we're about to um go inside i don't know what happens to my sister she was behind me but i don't know i guess she parked somewhere else so we're about to go inside i'm so excited sincere are you excited for your surprise buddy yeah do you know where we're going yeah where circus no we're not going to the circus y'all we already went to the circus and i don't even think i vlogged that like with my camera so i'm gonna just insert the footage from my phone here for the circus so y'all can see that because my baby did enjoy the universal soul circus Surprise! Let's go. I can't worry about stuff like that yeah. anymore with kids. It don't matter. You just gotta do it. <laughs> you just gotta do it. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. Are you ready, Sincere? Yes. You're going to the Children's Museum. You excited? It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> you don't know what's gonna be in there. It's a surprise. It's gonna be a surprise. It's gonna be so much fun. It. You see all the kids? Yeah. Tell them what you got on today, Pooh. Let's see your outfit. I got Space Jam. You got Space Jam. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's see your Space Jam shoes. Ooh. I see you, Sincere. And where's Serenity? 
in their community. Wow, so see Look at you. Are you driving it? Wow. What is up guys? So we are home. The children's museum was fun. Um, it's time for the kids to go to bed because I've had enough for today. Okay. But I just got this in the mail. Just free print. As y'all already know, I order pictures every month. You get 85 free pictures per month. Order these magnets because y'all know we already have some magnets on the refrigerator but I ordered some more I ordered this one because this is our last family picture together before daddy was gone so I ordered this one which I love so much and then I also ordered this one which is our first family pictures without daddy and Serenity's first um, family picture Oh, so sad. And then I ordered this one, which is me, Queen B. You feel me? Um, this was from my photo shoot for my documentary. And yeah, this just like, I feel like I'm looking into the future, like manifesting, like it's going to get better than what's current. So I got this one as a magnet. So I got three magnets. I think it was three. Yeah, just three. So I got these three. We already got a bunch on the refrigerator, y'all. I'm really a mom with all this stuff in my refrigerator. Um, because y'all know, like when I travel, I love to collect magnets as well. So we have a bunch of those. As you can see here, this is our refrigerator. A bunch of magnets. Um, this is Las Vegas. This one is Tulum, Mexico. We went there for Christmas. And this is says love yourself as much as you want to be loved. Um, this actually came from Trey's Vision World Party one year. This is from Dominican Republic. This is from the first time I went by myself. Um, this is from the second time I went with A, which was our last trip together. And then this is me, my 21st birthday. I've had this forever, obviously, because your girl is far from 21. <laughs> Here, Sincere as a baby. That was his Christmas shoe. Japan. Y'all know I love, love, love Japan. My favorite place in the world. Um, Montego Bay, obviously. <laughs> Y'all know where we got married. And then this picture was from, I believe that was from like Father's Day or something like that. And then this one says Hollywood. Um, my client actually bought me this one, which I love. And then this one says Hollywood, which is from Cali. We went there when Sincere was four months. This one is Sincere's first birthday. Okay. And this one is Dominican Republic, also from my first time going. Um, this one is Miami Beach. Y'all know we love Miami. Been in Miami buku times. This one is Jamaica. Love of love Jamaica, of course. There's our ear. And now we're going to add the new ones. Uh-oh. I don't even know. I think this one should go, like, over here by itself. Well, not by itself, but, like, front and center. Boom. Then put me right here. I feel like I want this Mommy. to be like by that. Mommy. Mommy. Thank you. Yeah, let me just do it like this for now. I might end up changing it. But that's it for now. There's a bunch going on on here, but I like it. Hey, y'all. So, we are home. Well, we've been home. <laughs> I showed y'all that already. I showed y'all the magnets. Oh, 
Yeah, we've been home for some hours and I'm just freaking, I literally had a freaking panic attack. My anxiety is getting the best of me. And I'm just so sad and angry. Getting ready to write in my journal. My emotions are taking over me right now. This is so not a good feeling, y'all. I would never wish this on anybody. This is the worst feeling in the world. It's so hard. It's so hard. And I'm trying it so hard. It's really hard. And I, I hate it here. <laughs> I literally hate it here. In this state that I'm in. Like, I just feel depressed, defeated, depleted. Anything with a D word, I feel like. Drained. <laughs> so crazy how life is you good one moment and completely sad the next literally I miss my husband so much never wanted to be a freaking single mom like and I have nothing against single moms because my mom was a single mom and because she was a single mom and I saw firsthand what that looked like, I wanted different for myself and for my kids. But I guess my plan was the best plan. God had other plans. And I don't understand it. But I'm trying to be faithful. I'm trying to remain faithful and just trust that he knows what's best for me. He knows the plans for my life. Cause this right here just seems unfucking fair. <laughs> Y'all don't even cuss, but that's what it feels like. It does. It hurts so bad. A daily throbbing pain that nobody can understand. And when people ask me, How are you? I feel like that's so. Like, what kind of question is that? <laughs> How do you even answer that? Are you asking because that's just the typical thing to have a small talk conversation to do? Or do you really care? Like, what can you do? Ugh. And most of the time when people ask, how are you? They're, they're, they don't even pause to hear, how are you? They just say that because naturally, that's what Americans freaking do. They just say, hey, how are you? And keep talking. Like, that's just, we're so robotic that we've been trained to just naturally say that to people. And I'm very intentional when I say that to people because I don't say it just right off the bat like we're trained to do i've been very conscious about that because sometimes i don't really care how someone else is doing or i really don't want to know so i always like when i ask that question try to make sure i'm very intentional and i actually can come from a place of hearing number one how you're doing and be able to empathize with you because people are not trying to hear you don't ask me how are you if you don't want to hear me 
and I'm not saying this like I'm not bashing anybody who just does it naturally because that was me for several several years like it takes a lot of work to get out of that but y'all we we just got to be more conscious about everything and it's hard freaking everything you got to be conscious about in life is just freaking ridiculous but yeah I said all that to say is I'm tired of that question I don't like people asking me how am I like I'm gonna say I'm blessed I'm well I'm good like what else are you expecting me to say like like and then what are you gonna do <laughs> What are you going to do besides keep talking about whatever you talking about? Like, ugh, I'm sorry. I just had to do that quick rant because that's happened to me. I wouldn't be talking about it if it hasn't happened. Like, people have literally asked, how are you? And keep talking about whatever they're talking about. Like, you didn't really want to know how I am because you didn't ever stop talking to give me a second to even tell you how I am. So, yes, I'm frustrated with that question. Don't ask me that. <laughs> unless you want to get a response so anyways I just had to come talk to y'all I told y'all I'm giving y'all the real the raw this is what it is right now this is how I'm feeling I'm about to write in my journal um like I said I just feel anxious I feel angry I feel sad I feel depressed it's just a lot of different emotions that freaking suck. Especially because of my mom. Like, and my emotions are rubbing off on my kids. And I hate it here. I absolutely hate that. Like, that is the worst. Like, uh, Every time I feel like I'm feeling away, it's like I'm putting trauma on my kids. And I'm over here trying to unlearn trauma as an adult. And now they're going to be having to go through the same thing. And it's just so freaking not fair. It feels unfair. And me and God, we have our talks. And I be talking to him, trying to get clarity and understand. And asking him to just give me the strength. Because I don't know. I don't have it. I don't. Like, I miss my husband. We were each other's support system. If I needed a break, he was here. If he needed a break, I was here. There's nobody here but me for two small children. And it's hard. It's so hard. And before anybody started commenting saying, Oh, where's your family? Oh, I know there's people that can help. Like, if you're not a mom, then number one, you're not going to understand. And if you ain't never lost your husband or significant other, then you're definitely not going to understand. So... I'm not really sharing to get advice. I don't need advice um, in that area. <laughs> I just need God's direction. That's that's the only advice I can get in that area. Like nobody can help me there. Okay. Both my husband's parents are deceased, and it's only my mom, and she still works full time. So there you have it. There's that. But anyways. This is crazy, man. This is so crazy. I don't know. I just had to come talk to y'all. Get that off my chest. Been talking for nine minutes. Tomorrow's supposed to be my self care day, but literally, like, me thinking about tomorrow is what gave me a panic attack, which gave me anxiety. Excuse me, in this moment. And it's really because, like, Serenity is um, breastfed. I started feeding her solids, but she will not drink out a, a, excuse me, a bottle. Excuse me. The homegirl came over on Saturday for a couple hours, and she will not take the bottle from her. And I'm so anxious, and that's why I'm having a panic attack about tomorrow with 
going to drop them off somewhere and leave them and knowing my child won't take the bottle and she's going to be hungry or and I'm just I'm not even going to enjoy myself while I'm away because I'm going to be thinking about did she eat and trying to hurry up and get back to her so it's like do I even go and take them like do I really need a break or do I just take them and just drive up and down the freaking street like what the heck do I do I don't know I don't know y'all I don't have the answers. Y'all don't have the answers. Nobody has the answers but God. So, like I said, I'm not here to get advice. I'm not here to get my questions answered. I'm just here to simply share real and raw moments with you all. And with someone who is going through what I'm going through. Who feels alone like I do. Just know that you're not alone. Because I'm going through it. <laughs> or I went through it depending on when you may watch this but I hope it helps you to just be real and raw and vulnerable with yourself say what's on your mind whatever you feeling sis get it off your chest no matter who is gonna hurt or offend like we just gotta gotta let it out and that's what I'm doing that's why I'm here so yeah if you don't like it don't watch videos like this because that's what I do on my channel. I'm real and I'm raw. Transparent. I mean. Some days I'm super upbeat and positive. Some days I'm a wreck. And I'm like this. But most days I'm giving you the motherhood lifestyle inspirational things. So. This is definitely a part of it. This is part of my lifestyle now. I'm a widowed mother of two small children. What the heck. <laughs> widow that just sounds crazy like what i'm a widow <laughs> i'm a widow yeah y'all i don't know i'm like almost about to start drinking coffee too i wanted to share that with y'all <laughs> to make light of this whole situation i'm like about to start drinking coffee like I drink Starbucks or caramel frappuccino from here. That's the only thing I drink from Starbucks. And I'm going to start making my own. I don't know. I feel like I just be needing like a cold beverage. I have not been drinking as much water as I normally do. Um, I'm going to start drinking more tea. I'm going to get these tea organizers. Because y'all know I love organizing things and doing stuff. So I'm going to be organizing some tea bags. That's what I feel like my heart wants to do. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to order me some from Amazon. And yeah. I'm going to do a whole kitchen reorganization. Because I need to get rid of a lot of stuff. And just update it. Because y'all. It's been a minute. It's been about two years. I was saying. Excuse me. Since the pandemic. Since I did a kitchen organ organization. So it's definitely time. So yeah. That's just a sidebar. I don't know. I may start drinking coffee. Well. Caramel frappuccino is technically coffee, right? <laughs> I don't know, but I be wanting it. And I'm not about to be driving to Starbucks. Like, today we were at the house and that gave me anxiety. Like, it was so many people outside on a Tuesday. Like, mm -mm, I don't like it. It's crazy that I used to be an extroverted person. Like, to be around a lot of people. I don't like it, y'all. I don't like it. Mm -mm. I don't like being around all these people. It gives me really, really high anxiety. Just, you know, I'd rather be at home. <laughs> so I'm going to Amazon the stuff that I just told y'all about. Um, Instacart, some stuff. And yeah, we're going to do that. I'll probably do that next month, though. Because April is almost coming to an end. And I already have, like, so much stuff in April right now going on that I'm trying to get through. So I'll probably do the kitchen organization in May. But anyways, y'all, I feel a little bit better now that I got that off my chest. I'm about to write in my journal. I've been talking to y'all for 14 minutes. So, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, we walk by faith. This life plus pray each and every day because God, he will make a way. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.